في معرض الصحة العربي 2023 التقت شركة عبد اللطيف جميل للرعاية الصحية بالبروفيسور تشارلز كومز من امبريال كوليدج لندن ومريم ضيائي المؤسس والرئيس التنفيذي لشركة ايسونو هيلث لمناقشة قضايا التفاوت في الوعي والتشخيص والوصول إلى تقنيات فحص وعلاج لسرطان الثدي بأسعار في المتناول. The problem is with breast cancer is that it is becoming more frequent. So at the moment in the Western world it affects between one and seven to one in eight women. But now in the developing world it's increasing because as women adopt more of the Western lifestyle, like the type of food the West eats and lack of exercise and late pregnancy and oral contraceptives, all of those things make breast cancer now, for example, in the UAE, it's, it's the commonest cancer amongst yeah. women. So it's an increasing problem. The big difference is that in, for example, the UK and the United States, people get a reminder to come to have breast screening every one to three years. It's a systematic program. Um, and so about, depending on, on the whereabouts women are, about between 70 and 80% of women will attend that screening process. In less developed countries, the problem is there is no systematic screening as yet, uh, or it's being developed. Uh, and it means that because mammography is quite painful, it's a little bit uncomfortable, and in some cases expensive, women just don't turn up. And the result is that cancers are often detected late. They are much larger than they should be. And the curability of cancer depends on the size at which it's detected amongst other things. So that means that's going to translate into a much lower cure rate in the absence of screening. I think there are some uh, new technologies that I've seen um, where, for example, uh, these new ultrasound devices, which are easily portable, can, I think, to some extent, not necessarily re replace mammography until the trials have been done to show that it is equivalent in picking it up. But I think it's already at the point where rather than some women having no screening at all, which is the case for the vast majority of women in developing countries, at least it's a move in that direction. And it can be uh, taken to, some of these ultra, ultrasound devices can be taken, um, you know, to, to villages and used without any uh, expensive equipment by people who have, in some cases, only had a very short training time. Uh, and so all of these things, I think, are going to increase awareness and I think be really valuable. We designed this product with the global markets in mind. There is a big gap in terms of healthcare systems in US and Europe and some of the developed countries in the rest of the world. And it's something we're passionate about solving the problem. But obviously as a small company, we're not gonna be you know, bringing this directly. It's difficult to bring this to market directly. And uh, we, uh, we wanted to partner uh, with, uh, with a company that has access and has the, uh, ch the right channels uh, to bring this to market. And uh, we got introduced to ALJ and uh, we've been working together to uh, put a disagreement together. And uh, finally we signed this agreement and uh, we're excited. This is just the beginning. Uh, so we're really excited to put a plan together and bring this to various countries across the global south. There is this, what I'd call, innovation gap between when we develop something in academia and then trying to get funding uh, from different sources to get it trialed in clinical setting. Opportunities like that, I think, are absolutely critical because there are so many potential discoveries which are made and it takes so long for them to get out 
to be used by people in general. Then there is the, the second issue of the gap between being used by wealthy people <laughs> and then being used by the rest of the world. Without, the, without capital, especially private capital, uh, a lot of these technologies wouldn't see uh, the, or wouldn't be available in the market. So uh, it's really transformative. It would be great if Abdul Latif Jamil Health could lead the way in terms of showing how the uh, you know, a company uh, and a foundation could work with governments to help join up this very difficult process.